Welcome to To Enable Help. I'm going to give you an overview of the application. Uh, I've already shown you how to register and how to log in. And after you log in, this is your landing page with uh, the various icons to give you access to the various um, bits of functionality of the program. At this point, everything is accessible on any uh, device with a, with a web browser. And it's from here on in, it splits. Okay? And it splits literally into the Silverlight application which is uh, Microsoft Silverlight is a, a product of Microsoft and it runs on Microsoft operating devices, operating system devices, and it also operates, runs on some apples that have an Intel processor. And the real test of whether you can access the Silverlight application is whether you can install Microsoft Silverlight. So if you can install Microsoft Silverlight onto your device, you will be able to access the full Silverlight application. If you can't, then you and you're on an Android device, for instance, then you're already stuck to my learning, my Kellen organizations in the online space only. My learning gives you access to uh, the learning content, the calendar is obviously any events which are associated with the organizations you've joined. Uh, organizations would be your school and any other organizations that are hosted on the platform. And my account is, in fact, all your details. So I'm just going to take you, for instance, quickly to my organizations. And you'll notice in my organizations that there are no organizations. So I can, at this point, join an organization. And I'm going to join Casterbridge Music Development Academy. And it loads up uh, the terms and conditions of, of membership. And I need to agree to those terms and conditions of membership. And it tells me I've been registered for this organization. And there you can see <coughs> my state, my membership status is in a state of pending. And I need somebody who, uh, the administrator of Casterbridge Music Development Academy, to accept my, my membership. And then it'll be ch this will be changed to a member. I can de register myself from the organization, so I don't have to be a member of it. Um, so this is a mechanism for me to join and Casterbridge Music Development Academy runs an after school program. So in time you might find there's a, a maths program, a Saturday school maths program, which you can join or um, we're a music program. You could have a sport program or, or, or it just really depends on who decides to, to join and make use of the application. There's another way of joining, of joining an organization and that is actually by joining a school which is using uh, to enable in within this school and if you recall when you set up my account you were asked to state what the name of your school was and um, when i registered under this account i said the educational institution was none but we're based in white river and and i'm going to pick a white river uh, school uh, and see what actually comes up and I can pick up uh, Rob Ferreira, for instance, and although Rob Ferreira is not using it, we have set Rob Ferreira up as a school uh, while we were testing the application. So if I go save, I've now basically told the application that I go to Rob Ferreira High School. And if your and uh, if your school is registered as an as an organisation on the platform, in fact that that you are using it, when you then click on my organisations, you will see the name of your school. Okay, and again, I'm in a state of pending because I've really just said that I go to Rob Ferreira and some an administrator Rob Ferreira needs to, in fact, agree that I do go to Rob Ferreira. And the moment they do, then I then fall into the whole Rob Ferreira mentoring. Um, you know, in terms of the organization, they will have set up mentors for the different subjects and then I will access all of those mentors or those teachers. So I will fall into the Rob Ferreira mentoring circle. So that is how you join organizations, and that is what it means to join an organization. And obviously, if Rob Ferreira now starts creating contact sessions for me, and for instance, it might be a maths test, or it could be a, an afternoon contact session, it will appear in my calendar. So at the moment, there are, I have not, um, there have been no entries that involve me in terms of activities at Rob Ferreira or Castlebridge Music Development Academy. So... There are no entries on my calendar, but had the, if there were, I would, they would appear here and I could click on them for greater detail. And then, of course, I can navigate through the calendars by clicking next or previous. Um, and that is one of the ways of, of navigating through the calendar. So that all of this at the moment has been accessible 
online. Uh, the learning is there's a there's, there's greater detail in terms of the learning, and uh, you'll see how I've actually joined these learning areas. Um, but in the next module, I discuss how to access learning th through um, to enable and in the online and in the Silverlight version. So this is actually discussed late, uh, in the next module, and I suggest you go and access that to understand it. Right, from the full Silverlight application, it's very similar to the online version, which I've just shown you, Okay, except it is the full house. It has significantly more. So you can see there's my learning, my calendar, my organizations, my account, very similar to what you have available to you in the online space. There's obviously something different. You've got my mentorship. So if you're a teacher, this is what you use to set yourself up as a mentor. It's what you use to access the results of the students in your grade or in in whatever subject that you're mentoring. It also brings up a dashboard on the left hand side and you will, if you watch the next learning um, video, you'll see me actually doing the test and where I guess all the, the answers to the questions and it shows me what my year average is and what um, these three metrics are. And just to just give you a quick overview, my year average is obviously the academic average of the results of the tests I've taken. The community investment is a mechanism whereby I can actually, um, it measures how much I help other people on the platform. And to just give you a quick overview of that, there's a, me a messaging uh, application where I can set up uh, learning circles. So I can add learning circles by classmate or mobile number. And I can build up my own learning circle and other people build up their learning circles. And I might be in somebody's learning circle, in which case I'll have the, all those learning circles will appear in this tab and I will and this is my learning circle. What that means is that when I do a test it's going to throw up a revision section here so you can you'll see I've done three tests and if I click on for instance I'll click on the mathematics it'll say view questions to um, revise and it'll show me the question uh, and um, that's the question that I can have a look at if I've got a problem with that question I can then ask for help. Okay, so here I can type my help question. So I'm just going to. Uh, sorry. So it's linked at the top here. It's in fact, the, the actual question that I, I did not get right. And this is what I'm asking specific help for. I, you know, saying my help question isn't really relevant, but you need to say what you don't understand. And then you can pass this on to your mentor. So you can, if I click on here, I'll send it to my teachers or to the teachers that are mentoring the subject, mathematics. If I send it to my circle, it'll send it to all the people in my circle that I set up earlier. And if I send it into the cloud, it means it'll arrive on anybody, and these are people I don't know, on anybody's computer who has already answered this question correctly. So what we're in fact doing is we're putting you in touch with somebody who has got the answer, answer right. And um, so those are the, your, your three options in terms of searching for help. So the more questions that you, you ask and the more questions that you answer improves your community investment. Okay, so then we start to see who is actually helping people. And when you get an answer or re receive a question, you can actually rate it. So if somebody raised your question as a good question, you get bonus points. And if somebody raised your question as a bad question, we actually remove points from you. So you really need to ask sensible questions and you need to offer sensible uh, advice in terms of help, otherwise it will count against you. And then the value score is, is um, we've included a whole lot of questions on the platform which we feel are value-based. So they tend to be based on the South African Bill of Responsibilities, they're based on environmental matters, um, and I suppose it includes a few ethical uh, questions and it only appears in the higher grades. So if you're from grade nine, grade nine or ten onwards, you will uh, you will find that there's a question in your in your questionnaire which doesn't seem to relate to the subject that you're studying, and that's in fact a value question. And what we're looking for is we're looking to try and identify students who are performing well academically, are very invested in the community in terms of helping others and have a similar set of values to ourselves. In which case, if we can identify you, then we would like to try and assist you 
uh, in terms of getting to a university and possibly even uh, assist you in finding a bursary to, to make your further education possible. So that's the motivation behind behind this. And, and we're trying to promote, obviously, people who are invested in the community and, and in helping others, and we're trying to promote... Uh, we're trying to promote people who have values which we feel are important values to build community and to build our society. So, so that is is some of the additional functionality that you have from my learning, which you don't have just on the pure online site. The my calendar, my organisations and account is very sim similar. The my mentorships obviously is if you're a teacher, you can um, you can mentor students in the organisation for which you're a member. The other thing that you'll notice here is that there's a menu, and this menu is very brief for a, for a user. So you've got a, a, a refresh button, you can lock your screen, you can access your results, and if you've got a certificate, and you will get a, receive a certificate if you pass all the steps in a specific learning area. There's a that this is what we call a supervisor menu. If you're a, if you are an organisational admin, so if you're a teacher at a school, this menu becomes far more substantial and uh, it allows you to actually manage your organization, decide who you're going to accept to your school as a, as a student, and, and you can then put the students into groups, and you can create contact sessions, and you can do attendance, and, and this becomes substantially... Um, th there's a huge amount of additional uh, functionality that exists for school administrators. Um, if you're a school and you want to create your own learning areas, you can create your you can create learning content which is available only to children who are enrolled in your or members of your organisation. So students and teachers who go to your school, and that will also be available through through the supervisor menu. So I'm hoping that's given you a, a, a quick overview of of the application and explains to you um, why the Silverlight version offers you so much more than, than just the plain online version. But the online version is there for your convenience that allows you to access um, access everything that you need to access from, from a phone or a tablet, um, yes. kind of anywhere that you, that you m might find yourselves. Uh, there's one last thing that I need to say from the Silverlight uh, version. The Silverlight version can be installed as a desktop icon. So I've already installed the application on my desktop, but I will I'm going to install it again. So the first time, if you haven't got it installed, if you right-click on your desktop, you can install this on your on your um, on your computer or on your device. And this is actually an icon that will appear on your desktop, and and it has that uh, that is the icon. It's it's our, our music note, and when you click on it, it open, this it's got a slightly different registration screen. So and I'm going to log into this <coughs> as a as a platform supervisor. So I'm going to show you just exactly how much more functionality is available. So this now is beginning to operate as a in a learning area space. So you can see I've demonstrated this a lot, so my year average is not great, but my community investment has improved and my value scores are a whole lot better. Uh, obviously, I'm Michael Matthews, and if I click on this, you can see what I'm referring to when when we talk about having significantly more functionality from a from a supervisor perspective. One of the most important things is that we can set this up as a learning center, and and um, what we do by what we in fact doing is we telling the system where to find the video files. So all those files that are, are hugely in, uh, bandwidth intensive we can actually host in a learning center. So this has actually been set up as a learning center. And I'm going to demonstrate to you what happens when I select a, a, a video. Um, I'm going to pick up chemistry. And again, it's going to, it's the same standard entry point. But if I click on a video, you can see the video is... The makeup of matter. Is, I'm just going to pause that. The video is in fact hosted locally so it's not a youtube video which means that i'm not using bandwidth when i'm playing this video and if i have a class of 25 children accessing the same video they can all access it in real time so if you've got a bandwidth issue obviously it's not possible for for you to access this video 
all online through YouTube, especially not in South Africa where the internet connection is so generally so bad, and especially in rural South Africa where internet connections are terrible. Um, through this program, we are now in a position to make yeah. resources available to any South African in a real-time basis. And um, that is one of the, the major differentiation, differentiators about this program is that we believe the content is, is, is there is no value to the, to the content because the knowledge has been around for a long time and really that you should be able to access for free. And um, the real value is, is in terms of trying to understand who's using the content and to understand how we can improve the content to make uh, to make it more relevant to South Africans and to help you with your educational process. And that is only achieved through through accessing the, the data, so by understanding what people are doing. So that gives you an idea of of the, the, the application. We've obviously got the online component, you've got the civil art component which runs in an online space, but we can set it up as a learning center where when you, when you access the application you are not accessing online content and it's and it operates in a very bandwidth efficient um, environment and of course there are all those tools and if I take you back quickly quickly to my mentorships because here I've set ourselves up as, as, as a mentorship um, it'll load up these are subjects I can mentor these are subjects I, I, I am mentoring so if I go to music theory, you can see Casterbridge Music Development Academy. I'm mentoring it. I've agreed to mentor it, and I'm mentoring all users. And then from here, I can start to generate reports about people within our organization who are actually, in fact, using the application. And I can start to understand what their results are, the questions they got wrong the most. So as a teacher, if I were to walk into a classroom, I could, in fact, start teaching them the things that that they don't know based on these assessments, the results of these assessments, because one of the reports is to say the questions that they understand the least. So there's a significant amount of, of um, additional functionality that is available to you um, as a teacher, and there's a significant amount of function, uh, functionality available to you as a learner where you can actually uh, engage with your peers and your teachers to help you in the learning process. And there's from a management perspective, so from a Department of Education perspective, there's a significant amount of data which allows us to understand how to improve education and to make the educational process uh, as best we can for you and um, as a teacher and as a, as a student. So we hope that is, um, gives you a, a fairly good oversight of, of the application. Um, and. Um, if you do have any questions and, and if you do want to regis register your school on the on the platform, please do contact us here at info at It literally takes us moments to set up a school. Um, the whole pr purpose of this, as I continue to say, is, or, is to promote education, to pr promote access to good quality educational materials and um, to help you do your job. Thank you very much.